Characteristics of Mindanao Music Describes the musical characteristics of representative music selections from Mindanao after listening. Identifies the musical instruments and other sound sources of representative music selections from Mindanao. A. Describe the musical characteristics of representative music from Mindanao. B. Listen to a selected music from Mindanao. C. Identify the musical instruments and other sources of representative music selections from Mindanao. Mindanao is the second largest and southernmost island in the Philippines that consists of different ethno-linguistic groups. Mindanao ethnic groups' musical practices reflect the fusion of traditional traits. Despite the Islamic practices dominance in popular social life, interpretations of local religions have allowed pre-Islamic artistic practices to flourish. This kind of artistic freedom proves the local society's sense of independence from anyone prominent. The sounds of the agam and gimbao signal the assembly of the participants in the performance of sacrifices by indigenous groups. The miminsad, a dance song, is also chanted as they walk before the altar. The wedding feast is another occasion where music plays a key role. Some Muslim groups play music using small and large kettle drums as an accompaniment to dancing, one of the highlights of the celebration. In Holo, the Suwa Suwa is a celebrated courtship song and dance that has often been modernized for troop performances. Sagayan, a war dance in Bukidnon called the Sagayan epitomizes the gallantry of Muslim combatants while little girls perform a festival dance wherein, they wear hollow copper anklets and ring little cells to produce certain sounds, to the accompaniment of a variety of tom-tom and an indigenous xylophone. Banyas 1975 The Tud Ob In Agusan, the Tud Ob, a song composed of four notes, is sung during rice harvests. In Sulu, four gongs are used to produce a kind of music called the tagango. Mindanao Folk Music Mindanao Folk Music includes the ancient Muslim folk song and dance called Estiharo, and a Mindanao Folk Song called Uruyan. These are usually accompanied by drums, gongs, or other percussion instruments like the sabing, a gong. Mindanao is the second largest and southernmost island in the Philippines that consists of different ethno-linguistic groups. These groups include the Lamads, namely the Sabanons of the Zamboanga Peninsula, Bukidnons, Ata Manobos, Mamanues, Matigsalogs, Agusan Manobos, Talaandigs, Kamijins, and the Higaonons of Northern Mindano and the region of Caraga, the Tibolis, Tirurays, Blaans, Saranganes, and Cotabato Menobos of the region of Soxargen, and the Obos, Mandayas, Giangans, Tagabawas, Calagons, Sangiris, and Mansaka of the Davao region, and the Moros, namely the Maguindanaos, Maranaos, Tausogs, Yokons, Ironons, and the Sama, mainly concentrated within the Bangsamoro region. Characteristic of Islamic Music Isa, fluid singing is with a straight tone especially for indigenous music this can be achieved with a good breathing technique dalawa. Malisma singing is a succession of many pitches sung while sustaining one syllable of a text tatlo. Narrow singing is singing with a very limited opening of the mouth if murmuring or talking. Apat, nasal singing is singing through your nose accompanied by a ik of air. Characteristic of Islamic music, strained voice singing with muscle tension or tightness. Song phrases singing the whole complete idea of the song, story of the song, long performances. Tremolo voice is a rapid repetition of the pitch while maintaining a pitch. Mindanao Music The different ethno-linguistic groups in Mindanao have similar gongs and bamboo types of instruments used in celebrations and rituals, but they also have varied functions and different ways of playing these instruments. The instrumental music of Mindanao reflects the natural and spiritual life of the Lumad and Muslim Filipinos as well as the influence of the Malay trade and Islam in the development of their musical instruments. Its many types show the creativity of Filipinos as they express their emotions, their life events, and their worldview. Musical instruments are important throughout Mindanao. Some indigenous instruments can be made in the community from materials readily available in the natural environment. Other instruments are made especially by trained craftsmen using materials prepared by different individuals.
Many musical instruments carry symbolic significance, which appears in the ways instruments are used, decorated, named, or handled before and after use. Classification of Mindanao Musical Instruments Isa, aerophones require an airstream to produce sound, they may be whirled through the air or blown into by a player, flutes, whistles, reed instruments, and horns. Dalawa, chordophones have one or more stretchable strings attached to a frame or sound box, the sound is produced by plucking, rubbing, striking, or bowing the string. Tatlo, idiophones produce a musical sound by vibrating when the body of the instrument itself is struck, stamped, shaken, scraped, rubbed, or plucked. Apat, membranophones are instruments that have a skin or membrane stretched over a frame. The musical sound is produced by striking or rubbing the membrane or by setting the membrane into motion with sound waves. Instrumental music of Mindanao, isa kulintang ensemble, gong, based ensemble used by the Maguindanao and Maranao and Maranao of Western Mindanao, the Tausog, the Yakan and the Samabaho of the Sulu Archipelago. Bamboo Ensemble, made for entertainment and personal expression of their spiritual faith. Gabbang is a bamboo xylophone played by the Tausogs of Sulu. The instrument is made of bamboo keys of graduated sizes placed over a trapezoid-shaped sound box. The instrument is struck with two wooden mallets with a strip of rubber fastened to it. Instrumental Music of Mindanao Solo instruments is a piece or a section of a piece played or sung featuring a single performer, who may be performing completely alone or supported by an accompanying instrument. Dabakan is a percussion instrument that originated in the Philippines. It is a single-headed drum that is usually played along with the other instruments in the Kulintang Ensemble. The only nungang element in the group, it has an hourglass, conical, tubular, or goblet in shape and is usually less than 2 feet tall and feet wide. The body is made from coconut or jackfruit wood that's hollowed out. The body is also intricately designed with finely carved details. The drumhead is made from deer hide, carabao skin, or goat skin.